Hello, hello, hello. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. This is literally, I think, our our first stream of 2023, and we are 13 days into it, but obviously we've been a little preoccupied over the past few days. Um, and yeah, so we have a lot to talk about in this. I'm not going to make this stream too long because I want this to be a um, an informative stream. I want this to be something where I can just let you guys know what's been going on, uh, what my plan is for the immediate future, and give some thanks to people um, uh, for their kindness that they've done throughout this time. So, um, first of all, I just wanted to say hello. I'm so glad to be back. Glad to be back from the hospital. Glad to be back with my wife and my little girl, Ella. I've missed them so much. You know, they did come visit me while I was in the hospital, obviously, but when you have a little girl who's, you know, just over two and a half years old, <clears throat> you know, she just wants to, she's, she's crazy, you know, <laughs> and those that have little children know what I'm talking about. And it's hard to keep them still for a little while. So when they would come and visit every day, it would only usually be for about maybe an hour. That's all Ella could really muster. Um, but, um, yeah. So first of all, I mean, the main thing that I want to say about today, if there's anything that I want to say is I want to give a big shout out to my wonderful, amazing, uh, beautiful wife, uh, Jennifer, because she is the, the, the rock solid part of me that just helps me to keep go going and, and, um, amazing what she's done over these past, this past week, you know, taking care of Ella by herself with her own medical issues. You know, she's got a mast cell disease and, um, she's got a lot of problems going on right now as well. And she took Ella, uh, to, took care of Ella for me. So a big, massive thank you. Everybody give a big shout out to my wife. Wifey strain is what we call her. Um, because she has truly, truly, truly helped me out, you know, FaceTiming me at night, you know, there'd be times when I couldn't sleep at night. Um, well I couldn't sleep. I, I literally went about four days without getting a single nod of sleep, except for the anesthesia when I was knocked out. But you know, she would call me, you know, she'd FaceTime me and she'd be there for me. And, and another shout out to, my parents. Okay. Everybody's coming in with the donations. Hold on a sec. <laughs> let me, let me, let me get the spiel. Let me get my spiel out first and then I'll, I'll get to all of those. I promise. Um, but a big shout out to Jennifer, a big shout out to my, to my mom and dad <clears throat> for, uh, you know, FaceTiming with me as well. Letting me know their times, you know, cause Jennifer's had her gallbladder out. You know, my mom has had her gallbladder out. So I was able to get some good information from them to help me go into. It's just that unfortunately with mine, with, with, uh, things were a little bit more complicated. And, um, so, you know, we had to take things moment by moment, but, um, okay. So let's just go ahead and get into it. The first thing I see here is we have uh, a few things to, to take note. Um, first of all, I want to give a shout out to Sean. He just sent a, um, a super chat in before the stream started. Uh, he says, get well soon. Would you consider doing walkthroughs of the brothers in arms games? Uh, I love those games. It's in fact, if you uh, haven't seen, I have those games. Uh, Brothers in Arms, Earned in Blood, Road to Hill 30. I believe I also have the PSP um, Brothers in Arms D-Day. I have the PlayStation 3. Uh, Hell I have Hell's Highway. I just don't think I've added it to my collection on here. But yeah, I love those games. And yes, to answer your question, yes, I want to do walkthroughs for uh, the Brothers in Arms games as well. Uh, because those are such great tactical games and you guys know that on this channel we love to do tactical games because any game that makes you think about taking out an enemy as opposed to just walking up to them and shooting them is a game that I absolutely adore and love anytime which you can put your brain into something and you can actually think about what you're doing either it be you know figuring out uh, uh, an enemy's pattern like you know where they're moving so you can sneak around them or things like that or um, taking them out strategically you know flanking positions things like that any and those brothers brothers in arm games um, are great uh, and they teach you the real history of the war, whereas games like Call of Duty and Battlefield and, and all of that don't really teach you the horrors of war. They make it more spectacle. But the Brothers in Arm games actually teach you about war and what it was like to be on the front lines, especially in World War II, because those games are World War II related. So yes, at some point in the future, I do plan on doing the Brothers in Arms games. And I think that would be really great for the channel. I think people would really enjoy them as well. So thank you so much on for that 
Next up, I see Oliver sent a big $50 super chat and he says, stay strong. Thank you, my friend, for that. I really, 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 really appreciate the super chat, bud. It means a lot. Thank you so much, Oliver. Paul, thank you for the super chat, I believe. Paul also uh, renewed his membership at Solid Snake and he's been a member for 30 months, at least that's what it says here. So uh, thank you uh, to Paul and uh, thank you to Oliver on those and I'll make sure those come out as well. Uh, also, Dwayne, thank you for renewing your membership, your streak of five months uh, on the boss tier. Thank you, my friend. Um, yeah, so I want to say there's a, there's a lot I got to say here because um, a lot has happened in the past week, and I want to get it off my chest. I want to get it out there. And, of course, there's there, there could be people in the chat that don't care about this. You know, they just want to see the video games. But this is for those of you out there. That, that care about this channel, they care about the community, and we want everyone in the community to be safe, strong, and mentally well. And uh, for all the times that you guys have come to me and said, Strain, you know, this walkthrough in particular, or just hearing your voice, or or whatever it was, helped me get through a very rough time with family or something going on in your life, you know, this is when I get to repeat that process back to all of you and say, thank you to those out there because guess what your kind words and everything that you've done on the community posts and on the um uh, the hospital video that i did all the comments i read them all you know thank you so much to all of those comments because i mean it really really helps when you're sitting there in the hospital and you feel like like life is just is is crazy and seeing those types of comments and those types of things i mean truly truly 100 percent really really make life just <sighs> so much easier even if you are in pain you know seeing kindness and seeing love through others it really brings us together and, and makes everything so much better and uh it looks like my buddy brock came in <laughs> and decided to uh to give uh the world of memberships to everybody who's watching this so oh oh hey say say hello everybody to uh to jen and and i told them i said that the main number one important thing that i wanted to say in this stream was what you have done this past week to take care of Ella and keep my spirits. So say hello. Hello, everybody. And yeah, hun, that's part of the deal. Say hey, the marriage. Oh. It is. <laughs> and she is she is a trooper. Even now, you know, not only did she have to take care of me and Ella before, but now she has to do it even more because I can't really move around too much. And uh, I can't really help with Ella that much at all, you know, bending over, picking her up, or doing anything like that. So she's been doing really, and really great things. not there. expected. No. Surgery. So. Well, they they couldn't hear you say that. You got saying it to you. Oh, <laughs> she she thanked me too, and I'm I'm just telling her. Well, she is the she's the real powerhouse. Yeah, I'm telling you, behind every good, honest man is a wonderful. I'm not really behind. More like like to the side and a little bit in front. And I think most guys will say. <laughs> <laughs> women don't stand behind men they stand to the side of us and maybe about a foot ahead because they know because they want to make sure they catch us before we or uh they 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 see something before we run into something you know what i mean because i'm a clumsy guy but anyways thank you so much to brock holy crap so brock just um i gotta see how many memberships he just uh gifted over 50 uh, so i gotta go all the way back up here dude seriously Brock gifted 50 memberships, so big shout out. And Brock, too, uh, thank you for the super chat that you did earlier uh, as well while we were in the hospital. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Brock. Um, yes, and Jennifer says thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you so much, and I'm glad that you're able to give those those 50 memberships to people that are in this type of video because the ones that watch this type of live stream, they're the ones that actually care about this community. They're the ones that are here and that, uh, that care because they know I'm not playing any games that this is all just talking about our life and everything. So I'm glad that these memberships are gifted to those people because they're the ones 100% deserve it. So lots and lots of, <laughs> of memberships were gifted today. So that is just, that's crazy. And that's awesome. So thank you. Um, so this is also going to be a Q&A. So um, what I want you to do is if you have a question for me, can, and this could be a question about anything, I want you to, in capital letters, uh, type question, and then, um, then after that, put whatever question you have. And then when I get to the questions, I'll go down the line and I'll answer every single one of them until we are done with the stream. 
all right i know my voice sounds a little bad but that's because i'm not used to talking a lot right now and today's been a little bit of a rough day for me so far uh but um yeah so if you have questions make sure you put question and then uh and then say your question afterwards that way i can make sure that i that i get to them but i wanted to explain what first before i answer any of those i wanted to explain what what happened over the past week um so start of the year came around we had covid so everyone remembers that we were going through covid unfortunately with uh, with jennifer and i covid was a little bit more worse because of our health issues going on at the time um, obviously with Jennifer and her mast cell disease and her being allergic to everything in the world pretty much, um, and everything going on, it was pretty bad for her. Uh, but she made it through and I'm, I thank the Lord for that. Um, and we both made it through that. Uh, but it took a little while for us to get over it. It wasn't something we just got over and we're still kind of feeling the effects of it because of how rough it was. But the reason I mentioned the COVID from before is because, I went to the hospital about a few weeks ago. I went to the ER because I had another gallbladder attack. Um, but I, that was during the middle of my COVID. And obviously it was during the middle of COVID. And they had told me, well, you can't have the surgery. You're going to have to go to outpatient to have the surgery. What outpatient means is you can't have emergency surgery at the hospital. You're going to have to go to your doctor and then set something up to see a surgeon. So I went, I did that. I went to the doctor, told her what's going on. She already knew what's been going on. She already recommended me for the surgery. But obviously you have to get referrals to go see doctors that have the approval to, for you to go see a surgeon. There's a lot of hoops that you got to um, that you got to jump through in order to be able. And I promise to get to all of those donations. Uh, I promise I will get to all of them as soon as I'm done with all with my little story here. But um, so, yeah, so we had to go through a lot of a, a process there. They wouldn't let me do the surgery. So I'm still in pain. However, the doctor was able to prescribe. um Thank, thank the Lord she was able to, to get me some medicine, medicine that I sorely needed. So she gave me some hydrocodone or codone. Um, it's uh, obviously for nausea. It's for uh, pain relief and stuff like that. They also gave me lefsin. Um, you know, medicines that are supposed to keep uh, your stomach from doing the things that it was doing, right? It's supposed to help with the pain and help with that kind of stuff. So um, I took all of that. And actually the day that I went to the ER, I ran out of uh, my hydrocodone and so it just happened to be that i didn't have any medicine to take which made it completely worse but as we're going over that week you know i'm st i still have i'm getting over covid i don't think i have covid anymore we did our covid tests and we no longer were diagnosed with covid because we did our uh tests to say that we didn't have it anymore um so we were both absent we didn't have covid anymore so we could actually go back out and 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 you know kind of get out of the house again a little bit but we were still feeling not too well because it just kind of sat with me weird um and i'm trying to remember um so we turned in our vehicle you know we had a lease that we got three years ago when we still had facebook not knowing that our facebook partnership was going to cancel and it was going to be destroyed and um uh, they were going to renege on my contract and then it's a long story about facebook and i've said it in other previous live streams and stuff like that but um yeah, so when I got the vehicle, when I leased the vehicle, we still had our salary of Facebook. And then when Facebook um, reneged on our contract, they were supposed to keep me until May of 2020, but they decided to uh, to cut me off in January of 2020, which threw us all by surprise. We had already picked up that lease on that vehicle, not knowing that we just technically lost my job. Um, but... Um, yeah, so we had that three-year lease. We've tried throughout the last three years to get rid of the lease, but they said it was going to cost thousands of dollars to get rid of the lease. I'm sure some of you out there that have gotten leases on cars know. You know, and this was our first lease I've ever done before because I wanted to try something new. I wanted to I wanted to see if I could do the lease thing where every three years you turn in your vehicle and then you get the newer version or something new. So you always kind of changing up your vehicle and it was kind of fun and, and I, I we loved our vehicle we missed it already but you know we went to turn that in turn that in and then they told us that in order to turn it in we have to pay six hundred dollars i don't have to pay it right now but their their finance department's going to get in contact with me but you have to pay six hundred dollars to turn in your lease so you've paid you know how much did i pay five hundred dollars every month for the last three years paid it all off, paid the last month that I drove it, and then they tell me, well, you still got to pay a $600 fee just to turn it in. Oh, I mean, I just, I didn't know it. Of course, they didn't say anything about that when we first got it. 
So that really pissed us off. So we were already like just so upset that there's going to be another $600 that we couldn't afford to just give them to turn in our vehicle, to have one less vehicle. Luckily, we still have one vehicle, um, Jennifer's old vehicle. So that's what we have right now. So we're still able to kind of get around and whatnot. So that's good. But um, so, yeah. And the reason I even mentioned the lease stuff is because um, that's the day that I went to the ER. So I went, we went, turned in the vehicle. We had to drive about two and a half hours and then two and a half hours back. Luckily, her parents live really close by. So they went with us. Um, so we did that and then, uh, we came back, uh, when we come back that night, I noticed something was going on. I started getting my, uh, mm, uh, the gallbladder effects that, uh, that, you know, that pain, that sharp pain for those of you that have had it, know what I'm talking about. And, uh, so we started getting that or I did. And, um, I started saying, I said, Jennifer, I think this is time. I think this is when I got to go in and I got to force them and tell them I want the surgery and I want it now because I can't handle it anymore. So it got really, really, really bad. It felt like I was dying. It was the, some of the worst pain in the world. And I'm not trying to equate this pain of what it feels like to give childbirth because obviously I don't know. Um, but I'm only saying this because um, of what others have told me, especially females and ladies. They have told me that that uh, gallbladder pain can be just as worse as having a baby. Uh, so that's the and I'm that, I'm just saying that because of what others told me, not because of how I know because I don't know. But it was, I'm just trying to explain that how strong that pain actually really, really, really was. So I get to the ER and I drive myself because Jen's got Ella and I know Jen's still not feeling good from getting, still getting over COVID and her problems. And I wasn't going to put her through, you know, driving me out there or whatever. Um, So I drove the car out there myself and it was some of the worst pain I had driving there. Um, to the hospital, to the ER. So I get there, tell them what's going on, tell them I need to have this out. This has to go. This gallbladder has got to go. So they rushed me into, that was the quickest I'd ever been through the hospital ER section because normally when I get there, I have to wait like an hour or two, right? Because it takes so freaking long um, just to be able to, to see a doctor when you're waiting in the ER room, you know, cause there's other patients ahead of you, but they saw how much pain I was in. They saw what was the problem. They saw that I had been to the ER two times, you know, in the past few months because of this issue and knew, uh, the, the severity of it. So they rushed me ahead and they immediately took me back. Um, the lady who the nurse, you know, I love nurses. I love what they do. And, and all the nurses that helped me out, they're amazing. And they did such a great job. But this first nurse, who put the IV in me did such a horrible job because um, when she put the IV in me on the, on the right hand, right side, she couldn't find the vein. She didn't get it. So she had to keep sticking me on my right over and over and over again. About five times she tried to put an IV in and she couldn't do it. So I said, ma'am, please just move to the other arm. You've done enough on that one. So she moved to the left arm and she got it in, but I don't know what she did. Literally, I start. And I'm sorry if this is, makes anyone queasy. I started gushing, gushing. Like I was losing so much blood that the floor was starting to fill of blood. And um, uh, my bed was soaked in it. So I don't know if she had, uh, I don't know what happened, but if you actually see my arm right now, um, um, it's it's pretty bad on my left, on my left uh, arm. Like, you know, kind of where you get, where you get an IV put in, like right at the, at the elbow, opposite side of the elbow where it bends and whatnot. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, there's bruises. There's a bunch of, um, yeah, it's, it's not good. And she says, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But, um, so that like kind of freaks me out a lot. Uh, but yeah. So then the doctor came in and he's like, listen, son, you need, <clears throat> or excuse me. I need to hear one thing from you. And I need to hear that you want to have this surgery and that you are 100% sure that you want to have this surgery and you need to show me that. And the reason he, he told me this, and I never knew this, is that he explained it to me. This, this was one of the coolest doctors I'd ever met in my life. This guy was honest. He didn't sugarcoat anything for you. And I think that's how all doctors should be. They should tell you the truth. They should have sympathy, obviously. But they should tell you what you need to know so your mind can prepare for whatever news you're receiving. And he sat there and he told me, you have to be forceful with these people. They will not do this surgery unless you demand it and you say, I need it and I need it and want it now. 
Otherwise, they're going to tell you to get out of here and you're going to have to go to outpatient. Do it then. So he said, I'm going to ask you this one time. After telling me this, he told me all this first. Do you want to have this surgery? And so I followed what he said and I said, yes, 100%. I need my gallbladder. My gallbladder has to be out. It has to be done and gone. And he said, all right, I'll tell them. So he had to go back and, you know, talk to the head doctors, people, whatever that would recommend whether or not they're going to do it. And so then immediately they said, all right, you're, you're going to have the surgery. So, um, it took about a while. They gave me some pain medicine. The only medication that actually works for me when I was in the hospital was Dilaudin. I don't know if any of you guys have took that. The morphine they tried to give me the other times didn't work. It actually made the pain worse. And I don't know, some people have different reactions to morphine, but that made it worse for me. So, um, that didn't work, so they gave me Dilaudin. Now, Dilaudin is a very strong, strong drug, and Jennifer was afraid that, it, that uh, because I've, this is not my first time coming to the hospital and having Dilaudin these past few times, because that's all I've been able to have over these past three ER visits, um, was Dilaudin. And she was afraid I was going to get uh, addicted to it, which it can happen, obviously. It's, it's something you can get addicted to. But no, no, I'm not. But it was the only thing that would keep the pain down so that I wouldn't feel it. And the moment that Dilaudin kicked in, I felt, oh, I felt like I wasn't sweating anymore, you know, because I was sweating the whole time that all this was happening because, um, you know, I was very dehydrated, sweating and all that. So, but yeah, so they gave me Dilaudin and said, all right, we're going to take you back. So they moved me to a room, to an actual room. And uh, literally that, um, now this was all on a Saturday night. All this happened about uh, 10 o'clock Saturday night was when I got there. Um, and yeah, so I would say I'm in my actual medical bed where they're going to, where I was going to be for the next four days. Um, uh, I would say by about 2 AM. So 2 AM I'm there uh, and everything, you know, I'm in my bed. I, I've got the meds and pain meds in me. So I'm, I'm handling and I'm doing, you know, much, much, much better, a little bit better. Um, and then, um, they said, all right, so, uh, we're going to wait a few hours. And then, uh, the doctor finally came in the, the, the female doctor that was going to do the surgery on me. She came in and told me what she was going to do, how they were going to do it. They did four incisions on my stomach in four different locations. Um, one is through your belly button. The other is three other places that are surrounding your stomach. And what they do is, I guess they, they use a robot and they, go in in each one of those incisions that they do and they suck your gallbladder out of your body. Um, and I was just, okay, well, I don't know how the hell that works, but sure. So that's what they did. They sucked it out. Um, but, uh, she's just explained to me what they were going to do. Um, and, uh, you know, kind of what the pain you were going to feel, uh, the recovery time and all that kind of stuff. But obviously that did not end up being the way it was going to be because I had some complications which I'll get to here in just a bit. So time's going by. I'm in my medical room, you know, and the doctor comes in and says, all right, it's time to take you down for surgery. Um, I, at that point I had already had a, a CT scan ultrasound. So they've already got to see where the, the, the gallstones are and everything that was going on. Um, so I go and I, I tell my wife, okay, they're doing the surgery now. And she's like, Whoa, okay, that's fast. So they did it pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, so she says she okay. I'll I'll get to the hospital now and I'll wait for you in your in your room. So when you get back, you'll you'll come and you'll I'll be able to see you. And lo and behold, she was there as soon as I got back. So I was really happy about that. Um, so they take me back there um, to get it, and and they were just you know the, the the anesthesia guy came in and said this is what we're doing. You know, um, you're gonna feel really weird after this. You know, you're gonna be knocked out. And literally, I feel like I was in the middle of the conversation with him. The next thing I know, the surgery's already happened and I'm in the hospital room or back in my room, um, which was so weird. But they had said that when you take this type of anesthesia for this type of surgery, um, you're going to lose part of your memory. So I don't even remember going back to where they had the surgery. Um, the last thing I remember was being in the waiting area, talking to the anesthesia guy. Uh, other than that, I don't remember anything about the surgery that went on. So, you know, they had to shave all my chest and all that kind of stuff. I look down and then there's these uh, four spots that are covered in some weird stuff, obviously where the incisions were and they had to. So instead of, um, instead of using staples or whatever they normally use, sewing you back up, 
they glued me back up. So I don't have um, staples or anything like that to to cover up the incisions. It's uh, I have glue. They put some type of glue over top of it, and that glue will eventually like kind of dissipate. Some of it's already been falling off. Um, but yeah, so that's what they did. So that was different. You know, usually I've always you know seen you know where they when they patch you up. Uh, when you've had a type of surgery or something like that, but I've never had a surgery like this before. Uh, so they patched me up. Um, so yeah, so I was really weirded out. You obviously, I come back, I'm all droggy, the normal, normal sense uh, of, of what you're going to be. Jennifer was there waiting for me, so I was so excited to see her, but she didn't have Ella with her because Ella was with her mom, um, so she wasn't able to stay too long, but I was just so happy to see her, and I was in an enormous, enormous amount of pain because something had happened. Uh, something during the surgery didn't, it's not that it didn't go well, it's that something I would say the hospital didn't do a good job at knowing. So I had just got over COVID, just got over COVID. And they recommend that if you're just getting over COVID that you do not have a surgery for at least a month until your COVID has been gone because of things that can happen. Uh, now, we're not 100% sure if COVID was the reason that I went through this or um, if it was because of my liver disease and kidney disease, because it could have been, it could have been both. It could have been one or it could have been none. We, they, they 100% don't know which one it was. They said, these are the, these are the options it could have been, but we're not sure which one. Um, so something happened with my liver and my liver enzymes went up. 30 to 40 times higher than they should be where she had said that they should normally your liver enzymes should be at this specific number, which was like a 30 and mine were at like 600. They were, they were like so, so freaking high that it was causing a lot of problems. So because of that, they had, they were like, well, we're going to normally, you know, you, you have gallbladder surgery. You can literally usually get discharged that same day like um for those that may have had it maybe got just or maybe the the day after depending on when you've had it during the day i had it pretty early in the day so i probably would have been able to if everything would have been okay been able to get out of there that same day on sunday when they had the surgery but i had a lot of complications and again i don't know if it's from covid or not but they the doctor came in to me and said i had no idea that i did not know that you had just gotten over covid and so she says, and because of that, she should not have done the surgery just yet. And, you know, she was afraid that this could be, this could be a problem. We're going to have to monitor you and we're going to keep you here and do more tests and do all that kind of stuff. So, um, so yeah, so I had to stay an extra three, four days. Pain was still super, super bad. Can't move, you know, tried standing up. It's really hard to do. Um, but that was kind of normal thing when you have gallbladder, you know, because you kind of feel the incisions, you kind of feel your stomachs are a little twisted, you know, insides. It's you can't land on your side, you can't land on your stomach, you know. You got to just kind of lay one way. You got to put yourself at an angle so that if your back is straight, it hurts even more. And I found that out coming home to sleep. But yeah, so they wanted to wait until my enzymes were going to get better. And finally, after uh, the the fourth day in. On Thursday, they looked at my enzymes and they said, well, they're still really high, but they're, we see this downfall in them. They've gone down significantly since, um, it's my mom calling. They've gone down significantly. Um, let me tell her I'm streaming. We'll call. Okay. So, um, They've gone down significantly, and so she was happy about that, and she was like, I feel like we're at the point where I can be released now. But as I was going through those three or four days, just a lot, a lot of pain, um, you know, having to keep giving me Dilaudid and keep giving me more and more pain medicine. Um, they gave me this new medicine. I can't remember what it's called, Narcol or, or something. Or I don't know what it is, but it's essentially hydrocodone plus Tylenol mixed into one, um, and that's what I'm on right now, and that's the prescriptions that I have for home um, um, but yeah, so that was my, essentially that was my hospital stint. I watched a lot of law and order SVU because I just had it on that channel. And for, I don't know why I kept it on there, but man, whatever you do, don't go to the hospital and stay in a depressing place. 
for three or four days and watch a show like Law and Order SVU. I get so hooked to it because Law and Order SVU is such a great show. But you know the things that the things that are discussed on there are not really things that you want to be watching when you're in the hospitals. Um, yeah. So, anyways, um, got it all done and I was able to go home. So I'm still in a lot of pain. Obviously, it's hard to move around. Um, sleeping, I haven't really been able to get any sleep because my bed is so soft. So the first night I slept on the couch, or not on the couch, on the left seat so I can kind of lean back at an angle. That was very hard to do because my back is not good, and there and that couch is not very good for your back. But uh, I made it through. Last night I actually slept in my bed for the first night, um, trying to get myself elevated a little bit. You know, there's a fear that it, something's going to jump on my stomach because Ella had to sleep with us last night because she was needing her mama. And uh, we have a dog too, and he loves to put his butt right up on my stomach when he's sleeping. And I wake up last night in the middle of the night, and I look over and Nintendo's butts right on the side of my stomach, and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, you know. And also this morning I woke up about five o'clock, and I look over and Ella is staring at me, smiling. I look to my left, she's staring at me, smiling, looking like she is about to jump on me. She loves to jump on my stomach sometimes, and that was never really that much of a problem before, but. She literally was, she literally looked at me and was like, I'm about to pounce on you. And Jennifer woke up all of a sudden and she's like, no, no, Ella, don't. <laughs> so she, she kept her from doing that. So that was really nice. But um, Jennifer actually let me sleep in until about one o'clock today because I just didn't get any sleep at all because I can't really turn on my side. I like, I'm a side sleeper. I don't like to sleep straight. I like to sleep on my side. And obviously I can't do that because of the pressure it puts on my stomach. But we're making it through. We're doing the best we can. And thank God Jennifer, um, you know, has, has helped. So I did a video. Obviously, you guys saw the video, um, the hospital video. So they allowed me to put my regular clothes on. So I know it might seem confusing that I don't have my gown. I only had to wear the gown the day of the surgery. And then once the next day, they said, you can put regular clothes on because I had things hooked up to my chest and all that. But I didn't need to have the gown on. So I was able to wear my own clothes that Jennifer brought. So that was really nice. Um, um, so yeah, and then you saw the picture that I did um, when I stood up and I was smiling. I posted on my community page. I think it's over here. Um, did I put that one on my community page? Maybe I didn't put that one on my community page. There it is. Yeah, that big smile. So this was probably Wednesday, I think, when I did this picture here. Um, and I was starting to actually be able to move uh, so that's why I had that big smile on my face. Cause I was like, wow, I'm able to move now. And that was the day I could finally take a shower, um, because I could get up and move around a little bit. Um, yeah. So I also, during this time, and I know this is so much information, but I had the longest piss I've ever took in my life. It lasted five minutes. I'm not even kidding you. I had, I took a piss that lasted five minutes. They were pumping me with obvious, you know, fluids. So it was all that fluid, but man, I was like, I was like, holy crap, this has got to be a Guinness world record. But no, I looked it up and it's like a, it's like 13 minutes or something like that it was like the longest piss or something. So <laughs> a little funny, funny tidbit and whatnot. When I put this video out, it's because I already had it and I had forgotten before I went to the ER to set it to schedule. So that's why that video went out during the middle of my hospital visit, same day that I realized that. And then I've done these two videos since I have been back. So I'm getting back to work slowly but steady, which is something I needed to do. I know a lot of you out there tell me in the comments and on the community posts, when you come back, don't go back to work, rest, relax. You know, that is more important than working. But, I, and I've said this and a lot of people already know, guys, this is the only way that we make money. And uh, again, I'm going to get people that are going to say, go out and get a real job. I was in the army for 20, 20 years. I've had a real job. Trust me, uh, I know about that, but I had to get retired and uh, my back is so bad that I can't go out and do stuff and I've had a lot of health issues. So this was the only way that I could actually make money and do it. Otherwise, I'd have to stop this and try to do something else with a bad back and everything else that's going on, which would be so very difficult. So that's why I'm pushing, putting all of my effort into the channel as much this year to, to, to hopefully get this up to enough where we can just make enough to survive. That's the goal for this year is just to be able to make enough 
just to survive because we're making less than that right now um luckily we had a good december because of my bill clinton video but if it wasn't for that bill clinton video we'd be speaking a totally different tune so god works in mysterious ways and i did not expect that bill clinton video to be a <laughs> to go viral and get over a million views um and for those of you that don't know which one i'm talking about it's um where is it at uh This one right here and see now it's up but so if it wasn't for this video right here i'd be speaking a completely different tune right now so thank you for all of you out there that are on the channel that have watched it i really do appreciate that but um yeah so we're we're back home i'm getting trying to get back into doing the videos i can only usually game for about an hour before i've got to you know, stop because it's you know the pain of sitting and and whatnot it still presses up against uh, presses up against my stomach and whatnot. Um, but now I wanted to talk about something and then we're going to get to all, all the questions and then we're going to get to all the donations and all that stuff and make sure you give your shout outs. We've been on a James Bond kick and it's been kind of fun. I've, I know these, these views aren't like, holy crap, that's a lot of views out there, you know, but this has been really fun playing these games, uh, these James Bond games and they've done quite well. Um, obviously I'm not making any money from them because, uh, you know, James Bond is copyrighted material, so, but luckily, you know, those donations that you guys give have been helping, so that keeps, that keeps me motivated to keep doing those, even though those specifically aren't making any money, and I've been having fun, so I feel like I kind of want to stay on this James Bond kick, and then the reason that we can do this James Bond kick is because, you know, we have these James Bond games uh, that we can play, like 007 Legends there, and then the PlayStation 2, Age Under Fire, Everything or Nothing from Russia, Nightfire, Quantum of Solace, and then um, I have the PC version of Quantum of Solace as well. Um, so we've got those James Bond games to uh, that we've been able to cover. And, and I've done streams on these two. So I don't know if I'm going to do the walkthroughs for those just yet. But I do plan on maybe the next uh, James Bond game we cover might be the uh, PC version of Quantum of Solace, which is a first-person shooter version. Or we can move to Nightfire or possibly uh, Agent Under Fire um you know there's all kinds of things that we can do with bond games and i'm just having so much fun doing it and it seems like you guys are enjoying it you're watching it and i can't wait to see what ioi is going to do exactly with the the new bond series that they're going to be doing project 007 probably not going to come out this year probably not going to come out next year but um that's why i want to get all these bond games done so i have them on the channel and then we can be ready for the next one so i'm really really looking forward um to that but yeah, so I've I've been I've got all these things here, uh, all these games, these classic games that I'm able to play, and most of these games, especially the James Bond games, they're only three to four hours long, so they're nice, small bits of content that could last just like a week on the channel. You know, I still plan on doing more Witcher streams when I'm feeling good enough to stream every day again, which I feel good because as you can see, I'm streaming here now, and it's been going on for about 40 minutes. So I know I can get at least 40 minutes of some streams in. So I'm not giving up on uh, The Witcher. I know that that kind of had to take a hiatus because of my health. But I still plan on doing The Witcher streams um, and getting those back on track. And I still plan on continuing more of the Tomb Raider. We want to finish that up. Finish up Modern Warfare. I'm just trying to do what I can right now. Those are the immediate things that I want to start getting done. Right. We all want this year to be the year that we catch up on some walkthroughs that we needed to finish up. And we have all kinds of good walkthroughs to come out. Obviously, um, Hitman's new mode uh, is coming out uh, here just over a week, as well as the new Dead Space remake. And you guys know I'm going to do a Let's Play on that, uh, streaming that. So that's going to be super, super fun. Excited for that. So there's lots of cool things coming out. Hogwarts. You know, I'm going to be playing that. There's all kinds of really cool games coming out in the first few months, which is definitely needed because the first few months on YouTube is very bad for any channel, because, unless you're making millions of views, and I don't make millions of views. Um, because ads are always down, and everything goes down. Uh, so it's very hard to make any money in the months of January, February, and March. Those are always the worst months on the channel. So luckily, there's a few games coming out that hopefully might be able to counteract that. But um, yeah, I'm safe. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit better. I'm still in a lot of pain. 
but I'm, I'm getting there. I'm seeing the progress. It's just my morale has been significantly lower. The beginning of this year has just, I felt like I've had nothing but bad news come. And now Jen's mom is in the hospital. She's not doing good. She's got a lot of health issues that she's dealing with. So there's just a lot of, you know, so prayers and thoughts on all that stuff really, really helps. And that's what I've been loving uh, that I've been seeing from all of you out there because everybody needs a shoulder to lean on. And you guys are my shoulder. Um, guys, I don't have a lot of friends. I really don't. I'm not, I've, I've literally never been the kind of guy that, you know, has a lot of friends. I have my army buddies that I've known throughout my 20 year career that I talk to. And those are my best friends and whatnot, but I don't, I don't really meet new friends. I don't really go out and talk to neighbors. We don't, we're very secluded, uh, Jennifer and I, because of health issues and stuff like that. And so I'm not the kind of guy that makes new friends like that. You guys are, you're my family. So hearing those comments from you all means so much because I'm just, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a recluse, you know, I'm, I'm an, I'm an indoor kind of person. I'd, I'm not the kind of person that likes to go out and, and, um, and do all kinds of things. You know, I'm, I'm a, what do you call it? I'm an introvert. You know, there's introverts and there's extroverts. I'm an, I'm an introvert 100%. Um, so it's hard for me to make new friends and that's not because I can't, it's just because I don't allow myself, I don't give myself a chance to do that. And so I seek, I seek that friendship from all of you out there. And some people might consider that to be weird or whatever, but to me it's not because I've built this community up for the past 13 years. And this community means more to me than some person on the side of the road that I might meet and become a friendship with. So <laughs> I don't need that. I, I would rather have, you know, all of you on here being able to talk to every single day and, and getting feedback from you all and, and seeing how your day is and, and just all of us coming together as a community, that means to me so much more than me trying to go out and find a friend to, to go out and play, do something with, you know what I mean? I don't need that in my life. I'm, I'm almost 40 years old. I don't need that at this point. I just want to take care of my family and to provide for them and to be a good father and to be a good husband to be the best person that I could be. So that's, that's where my, that's where my main focus is. So again, my focus is to concentrate on this channel and try to get it to where we can make at least enough to support, um, to, to pay the bills. That's, that's all. So I'm going to, I'm going to say this before we go over all the donations and all the questions, cause we're at that point now, if you do want to support the channel, obviously you can do what everyone has been doing You can leave a super thanks, um, on every single video and every single live stream. If Main you click on it. Whoa, strainception. So again, my focus is to constantly My focus on this is to constantly to call on this channel and try to get where we can make, at least, enough enough we can make at least enough to support, to support um, um to <laughs> double inception there. Doubleception. But as you can see, uh there's it doesn't say it on here, but if you you know you can click the super thanks, which a lot of you have been doing. But I honestly guys, I don't recommend clicking the thanks button or the super thanks. And I know a lot of you do it and continue to do it if that's your only means, because that's the best thing you can do. But the reason I say this is because YouTube takes 45% of everything you send to me, 45%. So if you donate by doing a super chat, uh, membership, so whatever, doesn't matter what it is, just know YouTube takes 45% of that. So if you do $50, I'm only going to get about 28 of that or so. Um, but that 28 still 100% truly helps. If you want to donate and you can do that and that's the way you want to go your best method and your best thing to always do is to click this link here this stream elements link this i get literally about 98 percent of what this is because it's going directly to my paypal and so the only fees that i have or whatever paypal's fees are which is just a few cents on the dollar so if you want, now here's the problem. You can, with this, with this way, you can't use a credit card, right? You can't use a credit card because they only allow PayPal. Not a lot of people of you that can donate have PayPal. So that's why a lot of people use uh, the super thanks because, uh, you know, when you, when you do, when you do it this way and you do a super chat, you can actually use, um, you know, your, your credit card. So if that's the only method you can do, that's fine. Your other methods that you can do are to click join this little button right here. This thing will come up 
and it'll tell you the four different tiers. I want to have all patrons, excuse me, all patrons, all members, and people that donate on a regular basis. I want to put credits at the end of videos. That's going to be my next thing. I need to make a tiny little video at the end of every video that will showcase every single person that is a member, that is a patron, that is a, um, that, that donates on a regular basis. I want to have your name be shown in the credits because I want you to get the love out there to let people know that this person supports what I do and it means the world to me. So I want to make that, hopefully I can make that over the next week and I can get all the names from patron. Like, yeah. So the other, other way you can do it is if you go to my main channel page, you'll see these links here. You'll see this link right here. It says become a patron. This is my patron site. Okay. So I've always, I've got 42 amazing patrons and we're making just under $300 a month. So that helps out a lot. Um, this is also one of the best ways to do it because most of the money that you subscribe on to become a Patreon and the different tiers and stuff that goes directly to me. And then it goes directly to my, uh, my PayPal as well. So that's another easy way for me to get most of what so if you can't donate because you don't have a um uh, uh or you can't do the super thanks or something because you don't have a credit card or excuse me you don't have paypal then you can do this uh this is another amazing great way uh for you to be able to do it and we've had our patreon since 2015 i want to say uh, i had always said if i was able to on patreon uh, make enough money just to support the channel that I would get rid of ads. I would get, and I still mean that a hundred percent. If this was ever, ever able to go up to like around, um, I guess it would have to be about in order for me to, to break even, it would have to be around 3000 a month because that's how much all bills and everything that I have, I think costs is around three grand a month. So, and if I were ever to make that much, um, then Obviously, I would all the ads would be gone on the channel and wouldn't worry about anymore because I don't want to make any more than I need to. I just want to make enough to support the family. That's it. So I got those out of the way. You know, I wanted to do that. So let's talk about um, let's talk about let's the donations and stuff that everybody has done here. As I go through, there's a lot of there's a lot of things for me to get through here. Um, so let's let's go up here first. I think that'll be the best best way to do that so I think, I think it's about right here all right so we'll go through the donations first um let me get to let me get to oh my god there's like 50 of those memberships that came through so it's actually kind of hard to see um i need to get to so i can put it back so Paul Oliver did his, there we go. So Dwayne, of course, Dwayne did his, and he did his $10. $10. I'm trying to find the $10 one you did, Dwayne. But I don't see it right now. So let me just read it. Sorry, I don't see it on the actual thing, which is right. Um, oh, it doesn't go all the way back. Okay, so Dwayne says, your health is more important than your channel, my friend. That is very true, but the channel is also very important because this is how we make any money. So I, I get why people say health is more important than the channel, but I, my main focus is I have to take care of my family because my family is the most important, right? That's the most important thing to me. And, and, and the channel is tied to my family because this is how we make our living. So that's why... I say it's very important that I get back to work and then I keep working and then I keep doing this, even though it might be hard and I might be struggling. I got to do it because we've got to keep the channel going. So um, your health is more important than your channel, my friend. We understand health comes first, but from my friends to yours, live prosper, my friend. Live long and prosper to you too as well, Dwayne. Um, Brownian. So I don't know... Um, Bronwyn. I always say that wrong. Sorry. I always want to say Brownwyn, but Bronwyn. Now I know you're a recent contributor to the channel as far as that uh, you're newer to the channel, because I remember you coming to the channel just a few months ago and, and you've been commenting and I've seen your comments. I've seen your, 
you're helping us out on many many different occasions so i'm glad you have found this channel i hope we've made this channel as um comforting and uh as uh friendship wise i hope you've been able to consider a lot of us uh, as friends and I, I hope you keep coming back so again thank you so much for coming to this channel even though you are a newer uh, subscriber uh, but thank you for being here and I'm, I'm i look forward to continue to see you on here and and i'm, I'm so glad you're here um she says strain i am enjoying your content and recently your old stuff is legit much love man well thank you yes um a lot of our um honestly a lot of our a lot of our good videos are old to be honest because we we had a lot of popularity back in the day and we've kind of lost that popularity over the years but if you go to videos and you go to popular and you see most of our biggest videos are from 8 9 10 10 9 10 9 a, a long time ago we haven't had a lot of big videos over the past year or so uh of course you know not being the bill clinton one which was just a month ago and you know and some of these were three or four years ago um, but yeah, so we gained a lot of popularity through some of my earlier walkthroughs that we did way back when, or Hitman, or all the Splinter Cell series, um, First Sniper Ghost Warrior, Metal Gear series, even Resident Evil and stuff like that. Um, those were most of where our videos, if most of our videos that come out now will barely be able to make, you know, 2,000, um, 2,000 a shot. But that's just kind of the world that I live in right now. See, only 1.2, 2.3. Those are the most I'm going to get at this point in my career. Unless it's a brand new game that comes out and people are um, really, really interested in it. Like some things will go off. Like I was surprised that this one actually got to 5,000. Made me kind of want to go over the Medal of Honor series at some point. Because I was like, well, that's, that's not too bad. Um, but yeah, so, you know, as far as new walkthroughs go, we did really, really well with God of War um in our let's play and whatnot so i was really really excited about that but yeah so it just depends on what game it is obviously more people will watch but again you guys need to make sure you comment you leave a like and all that stuff because that helps the algorithm youtube's algorithm to say all right this person people is liking their videos so therefore we want them to continue to succeed so we're going to show their videos to more people and put them on their browse lists and on their searches and show up in searches and all that stuff only way that happens is if more people leave likes they comment on the videos and i don't mean comment as in like what you're doing now which is um comments on the side here no they need to be comments below and it's also better to let this let the stream or let the video play through like don't just come never just come in to a video you know have it on for like five ten seconds write a comment and then leave that's like the worst thing you could do that actually hurts us the reason it hurts because it shows that the person came in for like five seconds and said, I don't want to watch this anymore. And that is what YouTube looks at and says, all right, this person isn't worth showing up on the searches or browse feature. You've, they, it wants to know that my watch time is good. So if you have that moment, or should I say, watch my videos when you know you're going to have a little bit of time to actually watch them or let them play. Because that's how, <coughs> oh God, that hurts. Coughing hurts like a hell. That's the best way to do it. So that's kind of like a little bit of an insight on there. And make sure you're also clicking the um, the bell icon. Um, it doesn't show up because this is my channel. But there's a bell icon you can click on. Make sure you have all notifications turned on. Otherwise, you won't even see when I've put out a video. So that really, really helps too. All right. So let's continue to go down. So uh, Ron Wynn. I don't know what Czar 700 is. So usually what I like to do um, is I'll put that in uh, this to see what it is. So thank you so much for the $41. I appreciate that. Now we'll get actually about 22 or something like of that. But still, that really, really, really helps. So thank you so much. Um, all right, let's keep going down through the other ones. So Jordan just became the newest member. Thank you, Jordan. Welcome to the boss. We have cake. Devin, hope all is well. He's Solid Snake for 13 months. Thank you for that re-up. Um, member for 23 months. It was deleted. Oh my god, what? 
Okay, that is so weird. I'll see what his name is here. Boa Omega. I've seen you before, so thank you, my friend. For whatever reason, it said your message was deleted by Nightbot. So maybe you had a, probably a lot of, like, uh, maybe caps or something in there that Nightbot just didn't like. So I'm sorry I can't read your message. Um, let me see if it's on my OB. OBS here real quick. Uh, there's Dwayne. So I'll put that out. There's Dwayne's message. There's Bronwyn. All right, so unfortunately I don't see it because it deleted it, but thank you so much, Bo Omega. I appreciate it. Um, next up, we have a $20 super chat. Take good care of yourself from WR. Sorry, I can't. You're uh, from Brock Z. Um, Rustal22 Brock Z or something of that nature. Thank you so much. Merck, thank you for the $31 super chat. Hope this helps with your recovery. Thank you so much, Merck. He's been on the channel for a long time. Rogue sent a $2.16 super chat. You are a fighter and an inspiration. I'm only the man that I am is because of everybody that is around me, which includes all of you. You've all have made me a better person. My family has made me a better person. So we are only as good as we are because of the people that we have company with. They help us to become the best that we can be. So thank you, Rogue. Um, and, and Mario, thank you so much for the $2.72 super chat. Speedy recovery to you and your loved ones. So there we go. All right. So let's get to some questions. If you want to leave, if you have a question that you want to ask me, uh, make sure you in all caps type question. And then afterwards, put the question and I'm going to go through the list here from a little bit up top. And we'll get to the first question that somebody asked me was from spooky. How am I doing? I'm doing a little bit better. Uh, pain is still significant, but we're making it day by day. Sleeping is very, very tough. I can't move. Um, and I'm a kind of a restless sleeper. I like to sleep on my side and I can't do that. I have to sleep kind of straight, um, straight on my back or whatever. So it's a little tougher for me, but I'm doing it. And that's all that matters. You know, you just, you got to fight through. All right. So the next one is a question from Matthew. Are you excited for the Splinter Cell remake? And what's your expectations? One, I'm very, very excited for the Splinter Cell remake. Two, I'm even more excited now that I've seen the latest news from Ubisoft. So they've canceled three new games that they were going to do, and they've decided that, that they want to stick with their biggest properties. I think this is a good thing because that means they want, they're going to hopefully, and this is what I hopefully mean it means, that they're going to listen to the fans, that they're going to make these, this Splinter Cell game exactly like how it was when Splinter Cell was at the top of gaming right? We don't want an open world game. You can make it semi open world. Like you can give us an area to infiltrate or something, but I don't want an open world game. I want it nice linear. I want levels that are highly detailed. I want that stealth to be in there and I want it to be the focus. Do not make a splinter cell game where you put just as much emphasis on action as you do stealth. I loved blacklist. Don't get me wrong, but they put just as much energy into the, uh, the action part as they did the stealth part. And I think it lost its Splinter Cell appeal because of it. Splinter Cell has always been the type of, the one type of game that was different than Call of Duty, that was different than your run and gun action title. And that's why people loved it, because it wasn't those games. So stick to your roots, Ubisoft. Know what made that, and that's what they're doing with the brand new Ubisoft or brand new uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage. They said that it's going to play like the original Assassin's Creed games, not like the remakes or not, excuse me, not like the the RPG ones, the the latest three, but like the original ones. So that's what got that's what's getting me excited for the Assassin's Creed Mirage, and I'm also excited for Splinter Cell. So yes, very excited for Splinter Cell. Um, all right, question from the Legend Twenty Seven. What's your favorite beer and will you play new Splinter Cell Remake? First, yes, I will play Splinter Cell Remake. Second, I don't have a favorite beer because I don't drink beer. Funny story, I've said this before, but I'll give you the condensed version. When I was little, I'd always drink my mom's Mountain Dews. So my stepdad, to do a little joke on me, 
he had taken one of her Mountain Dew cans that was empty and he had put Budweiser in it and he had placed it where, you know, my mom's drink normally is. So like me as a little kid, I go over and I try to drink a sip of her Mountain Dew and I drink Budweiser, throw up on the spot and I I will never drink beer. I hate beer. I hate the taste of beer. Beer is an acquired taste and I do not like it. I like things like Smirnoff Ice. I'll, I'll drink that. Malt beverages, things like that. Um, hard liquor, that kind of stuff, but I will not drink beer. So I do not have a favorite beer. I, I guess if I did say that I had a favorite beer, it would probably be either Smirnoff or Mike's Hard, something along those lines. But I don't know if you consider that a beer. Um, okay. So next question from Shadow. What game are you most looking forward to in 2023? That's hard because I don't know if Splinter Cell is coming out or not, but if Splinter Cell is coming out, then that would be my most anticipated... <coughs> That would be my most anticipated game. Otherwise, Assassin's Creed Mirage. Um, Hogwarts. I am so freaking looking forward to Hogwarts. It looks like this is going to be... Like, I'm just going to... Oh, I'm in heaven with Hogwarts. Dead Space, I'm really looking forward to. Um, I'm drawing blanks on any other games that are coming out. I know there's a lot of really, really good ones. Some that I'm probably missing. Um, there's a lot to look forward to, but... If Splinter Cell can come out this year, that would be my most anticipated. If not, as of right now... It would it'd be hard to pick between Mirage or Hogwarts. And I only say that because Mirage is, is going back to its roots. Um, so, but we'll see. Still plenty of year, and I'm not, I can't remember exactly every game right now because my memory's just been really funky lately. Um, but thank you for the question. All right, I'm going to continue to go down. Question from um, B-Man. Will you jump into community game night when we do fall, where we do fall, guys? And do you want to do some sniper and get the collectible? So yes, I, I want to do more community night stuff. Um, I think that would be really, really fun. Uh, I know you joined us and so did Renee and we've had lots of fun doing like fall guys. This is a simple, you know, kind of battle royale type of game or whatever. I'm not really big into Fortnite, so I don't like to play that. And I, we need to find games where I can play with the community, like especially the members and patrons um, that actually donate to this channel and help this channel out because I want to be able to give back. And so we need to do more community nights where we're actually playing games with you guys. Uh, like it could be call of duty. It could be battle. It could be, you know, those types of games where multiple people can come into a single game. Um, yes, I would love to do more um, of that stuff. And as far as sniper elite five, I've got so much on my plate right now. I wouldn't mind going back over sniper elite five and doing some co-op stuff again. Um, Cause I think I still have the, um, that DLC with the Fuhrer that I haven't done yet, uh, but I don't have it. I don't have that DLC, so I'd have to buy it. But um, money's, like I said, real tight right now, so like I, I really try not to buy any games that I don't think I can afford. I don't know how much the DLC is. I'll have to look at it. But um, yeah, so that, that could be something uh, we, we do in the future. But as far as community games, yes, I definitely want to start doing more community. Um, Andy says are you going to do the resident evil 4 remake yes oh my god thank you for reminding me that's another one i'm really looking forward to now you can check out my professional walkthrough my no damage professional walkthrough that we did on resident evil 4 uh, just a few years ago we did that so make sure you take a look at that it's it's on the channel and if you ever need to know or if you ever want to know if i've done a certain video or something you see this little search thing you'll find it on everybody's thing you just go up to this little click thing here click on this and then you type in whatever game you want to look for. So if you don't know if I've done a certain game, type it in here. And then it's going to come up every single thing that I've done with Resident Evil 4 in the title. See, there's my professional Resident Evil 4 walkthrough. There it is in one full video that I did. That was two years ago. Um, uh, we had some of the trailers we did. Um, that There's the actual walkthrough right there in individual form. Everything with Resident Evil 4 in the title. There it is. So... Again, you can search any game you want to do. It doesn't matter what it is. If I've done um, uh, Inside, right? You remember? You know I've done Inside. Let's say you didn't know I did Inside and you want to look into that game. Right there it is. And you can see it. Um, and that's my biggest game of all time. This is still making about four to 5,000 views every 48 hours or so. So... Still getting some actually decent views. We might be able to break 5 million 
uh, for this game that we streamed six years ago. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. And it was a game that I originally recorded as a walkthrough and then was going to cut up and splice it up to make it look perfect. That I normally do with my walkthroughs, but the audio got corrupted and I was so pissed. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to stream it. I know exactly what to do so we can get through the game probably in under two hours and I can just show people how to do it quickly. And it became one of the most watched inside gameplay walkthroughs. So you never know when you, when you come out with a hit uh, of a video and it could be something that you normally think would not be. I would normally think a game like this would not be a hit on my channel, but but it is. So that's why you see I put all types of different types of videos out there because you never know what's going to be popular. But again, use this. That's what it's there for. Use this search feature because it really, really helps for anything that you want to look up. It doesn't matter. Um, doesn't matter what game series it is. If it's a specific game, you can see, look, it shows all my battle. There's Battlefield 1. There's Battlefield Hardline. There's Bad Company we did such a long time ago, Battlefield 3. I mean, it'll show it all here. So make sure you use that search function on any channel that you like, and that way you know if they've done it or not. Because it's it can be hard when you're, when you're flipping through playlists, because if you look at my playlists, I have them separated by this, by years. So if you really want to go blast of the past, all the years in, of the games I did when I first started this channel are going to be here, then it goes up 2013, 14, 15, 16, but you don't know if I've done that specific game or when I did it. So your best bet, instead of going through all of that, is to click that search button. And I hope that helps some people out there uh, when it comes to, um, you know, just searching the channel for videos. Um, Brock says, uh, I will support you all. And you have been, dude. All these memberships that you've been giving to people, thank you so much. All right, uh, we did Andy's question. Let's... Question from Spook. Oh, no, no. That's it. Gallstones are a big pain in the butt. Actually, no, they're a pain in the stomach, but I get what you're saying. Um, so far, and I'm, I'm not going to linger on this subject for, for too much, my bathroom breaks have been okay. So far, they've been decent. So I'm getting, my, I'm getting that situation back to kind of to normal. It feels good. It feels fine. Things are coming out, and that's all we could ever ask for. Um, question from uh, B-Man again. Do you miss my heavy breathing voice? <laughs> I tell you what, man. Some of the greatest moments I had was when I was playing with you and Green and we were doing um, The Division 2, right? The Division 2, I had so much fun playing with you guys. And also we did, uh, we did uh, Ghost Recon together too. So make sure you check out our Division 2 walkthrough. This was so much fun. We did this uh, with, uh, in co-op with B-Man and, and Green, and we just had a lot of fun. So uh, check that out if you haven't. It's a great, fun, tactical walkthrough, and uh, you'll hear a lot of heavy breathing from Brandon in it. Um, all right. Like I said, I'm just kind of... Sorry if I'm a little slow. It's just uh, my eyes, my, my vision right now is a little blurry because of the pain meds, but um, I'm getting down through it. Just going through anywhere that I see question. I did go on a long 40 minute spiel, so pro people probably forgot about question. <coughs> YouTube shorts, yes. Bear Texas says YouTube shorts are going to be monetized and start in February. So um, I'm going to start doing some more YouTube shorts. Um, right now I only have a few YouTube shorts on the channel, um, but I haven't made any money off of them. I even did the Bill Clinton one, which actually got 26,000 views. Um, and I even... You know, real quick, I want to thank everybody and say that I think I want to nominate this award to uh, my reformed Orthodox rabbi, Bill Clinton. Thank you, everybody. Uh, <laughs> I just don't think this is so stupid and funny at the same time. And of course, I have my little girly. It's my little baby. I mean, how, how cute is this? Picks up the phone and says hello. She's got it upside down now. There she goes. Uh, 
I mean, is that just not the cutest thing in the freaking world right there? This was so great. This was like a, over a year ago. We were watching our, you know, yearly uh, Home Alone marathon, and she was laughing her butt off. So make sure you try to check out some of my shorts that I have on there. They can be funny. You'll get a lot more life type of shorts. Watch her laugh. <laughs> Is that just not the cutest thing in the freaking world? Of course, she has no idea what's going on, but she's she's just oh man, it just and there's my little misty baby girl. She of course passed away back in 2019. This this was my daughter for the longest time because I was she was with me, uh, you know, for half of my um, military career. And uh, this was my baby girl. It was me and her, me and her versus the world, and I miss her dearly. But I have a lot of really cool. This was a really good one. I don't want to get copyrighted here, so I'll stop that for a second. What's your name? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? So we got some really, really fun, uh, fun shorts that you can kind of check out. And I do plan on uh, doing. Uh, I had just started dating Jennifer here. Jurassic World came out. Oh, geez. But yeah, so I got some some fun shorts, and uh, I plan on doing more, especially starting February when uh, they're going to be able to be monetized and whatnot. So that's going to be fun. Let's keep going. DC says, Sinistrain, hope you've been recovering well and being a good father. Of course, I will always try to be the best father to my family that I can. Metro says, hope you're all having a great day. Well, I hope you are too. Um, oh, no. Okay. Oops. It just updated here. Um, oh, so I'm seeing the newest one here. Question from Jen. Hello, Jen. Hopefully you're doing well. Have you already started training Ella in becoming a great stealth gamer? She is. Because sometimes I'll be sitting here on, in my office looking at, you know, whatever I'm watching here, working. She will sneak up behind me because she has come up because mom has led her up the stairs because she's going to either take a nap or they're coming upstairs. And I don't even know she's there. And then all of a sudden... All of a sudden, I look over to my right or my left, and she's like, Hi, Daddy! And it's the cutest thing, and oh my God, and I, I don't hear her come in at all, but she's so stealthy. She's, she's, gonna, she's gonna be away. She's gonna carry on this channel. I'm telling you, 20-some years or whatever, you know, she, this is gonna be her channel, so uh, hopefully it'll still be around by then. Uh, Rogue says, Max Payne walkthrough? Yes, I have a Max Payne walkthrough. And they're, I can't wait for the for the new remake they're doing, for the, the next one. Uh, but yeah, so there's, um, I have a Max Payne walkthrough. Yep, I have Max Payne 3, Max Payne 1. I don't have a Max Payne 2. It looks like I don't have a playlist for my Max Payne walkthrough, so it might be a good idea. Yeah, it might be a good idea to do a playlist for Max Payne 1. I don't think I have one. Mm, excuse me. But yeah, I got Max Payne 3 and Max Payne 1. He's learning the ways, yep. Oh. Uh, so if you have any more questions, just say them now. Let me know. Make sure you put the question in front. Uh, Dano says, would you do a walkthrough for SOCOM US Navy SEALs? I've always wanted, I've always wanted to do that. Um, and you can see that I have it down here. That was, I love that game. It was one of the first stealth games I've played outside of Metal Gear because... Um, obviously that came out before, uh, uh, Splinter Cell. Um, where is it at? There it is. SOCOM, U.S. Navy SEALs. Actually, it may have not come out before Splinter Cell, but it came out around the same time. 2002-ish. So, but this is a game that I... 
absolutely love and it brings a warm and dear um, thing to my heart i also have the um socom games on uh playstation uh portable so there's so many i still have a lot of stealth games to be able to cover on the channel so you know and that's what this this channel is predominantly it's 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 mainly a, it's a gaming channel and i don't want to limit myself to one genre but we do like to put emphasis on stealth games so we have all of these and these are actually pretty decent games as well don't think they're not yes obviously you know graphics wise it's a psp but some of them are attacking now. truly truly good and i recommend you try them um and yeah i mean there's still so many good ones also siphon filter games these games like dark mirror and logan shadow are some of the best stealth games period so I definitely recommend you checking those out, and I want to do walkthroughs for those and finish up the Siphon Filter walkthrough that I have going on right now as well. I also have those same games on um, here in the PlayStation version with higher fidelity. So, you know, we'll get to those as well. Great stealth games. So lots and lots of stealth games. And I've been checking out some new stealth games too that I never heard of. Like this game here called The Plan is surprisingly good and has surprisingly a lot of good stealth in it. I was blown away when I started playing this. Also, another one, Stolen, which is kind of like a you're a thief or whatever. Really, really cool. Um, I've also got um, No One Lives Forever, Win Back, which have a little bit of stealth elements in them as well. Um, where uh, 24 is a really cool one. Alias has some actually good stuff in it for a uh, stealth game as well um batman vengeance obviously um yeah there's all kinds of really cool stuff that we can all right so brandon asks are you ready for the last of us tv show yes i think it comes out in two days jennifer and i are so ready i heard that it covers and spans the entire first game so that means they're not going to at least do the number two yet how I, I don't know how i'm gonna feel about the second season of the last of us but i am absolutely i think the last of us tv show is going to be the best tv show of the year bar none i mark my words right now i bet you it's going to be the most popular tv show of the year i just i don't see anything beating it because those of you that have not seen the last of us maybe gamers non-gamers when they get to this story and they see the emotion in it and, and they pick the perfect actors for it, as much as I would love to have had um, Troy Baker, you know, play Joel. He was, he's old enough. He'd, he'd fit it really well. We'd have his voice. They picked the precise person that could bring Joel to life in life form with Pedro Pascal. So I have so much hope for this. Nick Offerman, or whatever his name is, is playing Bill. I mean, great casting, um, so I'm really Bella Thorne or something. I think that's her name. You might've recognized her from, um, Game of Thrones. She's playing Ellie. So uh, there's so much to look forward to. And I think it's going to be one of the best shows. Mario says, question, will you do a playthrough after the Q and a live? No. All right, so just if you have a question, just write it below. Next few minutes. Uh, Icon one thousand one says, "Do you plan to do 007 everything or nothing?" So, if you are currently wanting everything or nothing, I have it, and I beat the game. Right in both of these, this is the full game. So, if you want to check out our everything or nothing. Retro Saturday we did about a year ago. Right there it is. Okay. So go check it out. Also, we did a Retro Saturday about two years ago where we played four hours and 17 minutes of Bond games. So that's quite a bit. Um, so if you want to check that one out, you can. Obviously, we also did a full playthrough of uh, From Russia with Love um, in two streams. One there and one there. Looks like, again, I don't have a... a playlist for that i need to do that there's a lot of playlists i need to start doing we even started a walkthrough for 007 legends 10 years ago but we never finished it obviously you know you know you know how i am 
Um, but yeah, that's something to think about uh, as well. So if there's ever something you want to see if I've done and you're not sure, hit that search button. I don't know who they could have picked a better actor to play Joel, except for Troy Baker, to be honest. The only other person I could think of would be George Clooney, because he kind of looks like Joel, but he doesn't have the the demeanor for Joel. And I just think Pedro is... I, when, when I heard that Pedro was doing it, I was like, yeah, this is going to work. I understand some people might like not like the cast for Ellie. I mean, Ellie's a hard thing to cast for. She looks like Ellie. I haven't seen much of her acting except for in Game of Thrones, which is not a lot. So let's hope we can fall in love with her. But uh, people's already been giving their reviews on the series, like from IGN, and said it's one of the best shows he's ever seen, and he's watched the whole thing. So I'm looking forward to it, and uh, I can't wait. I'm not seeing any other... Okay, uh, Bronwyn. Question. Will you be streaming on all platforms at once when you start again? Can we donate on there? I don't have PayPal. Okay. So if you don't have PayPal, the best way for you to support is Patreon, as I had mentioned before. Is This is... That's the Patreon clicking here, and becoming a patron is the best way to support. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a way... To do donations that involve credit cards instead of just PayPal. I wish there was one out there. Maybe someone can help me out and tell me if there is one and I can change that to the new one. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, the other way is Twitch. I still have my Twitch channel. Uh, as far as streaming on every channel at once, because of the way Twitch is, it's I'm not allowed to do that. Because of their partnership, I am an affiliate. It really doesn't mean a lot being an affiliate, but I don't want to lose it um, on my Twitch channel. So I can't really stream all the games at once. I did for a few days stream Facebook and YouTube at the same time. So that's still a possibility. Um, but it is something I will definitely look into this year. I want to stream in more places because I want more people to be able to watch from the platforms that they want to watch from. Because that makes everybody happy, right? Would I ever go back and do unfinished playthroughs of the yes i actually um i actually have i actually downloaded again because i was preparing myself to start it again let me see yep redownloaded it and everything um the only problem, this is the biggest problem. This is not the computer that I originally played my original walkthrough that I started many, many years ago of Thief Deadly Shadows. So, that's the only thing keeping me from continuing it right now is because I don't have the saves. Um, they might be on my other computer, and if I can figure out how to bring those saves over to, my, to, to this computer that I use now, possibly... But I think the computer that I had when I first started playing The Thief Daily Shadows is, is a computer I no longer use and no longer have. And if that's the case, I cannot continue where I left off because I don't have those saves. What I could do is download a save from online of the game being beat and then start on the mission that I left off on and continue from there. But it won't be my continued walkthrough. It would be my continued walkthrough, but it would be a different save. <laughs> if that makes sense but so yes that's why I downloaded that because it was still going to be a possibility and also I'm going to say this right now if I'm going to I'm going to tell you if you have not if you have a few bucks to spend and you want to play a game that is actually really really cool and decent play this game Titan Station the reason I say this is because a developer reached out to me a few months ago um, and I left, uh, he wanted me to leave a re he wanted me to review Titan station. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll take a look at it. And I, th I thought I was only going to play for a few minutes. Nope. Sat there. Didn't even record the thing. Sat there, played it all the way through. It's a short game, but it's, it's got a lot of replay value that you can do different things with. 
So it definitely has some replay value in it, and it's not like it's a $60 game. Definitely try it out. Titan Station is really, really cool. It's like a mystery trying to figure out your, you're like, um, it's in the future, you're a worker on Titan Station, which is outside of Jupiter, I think, or something like that. And um, you need to find out what the heck is going on. Something has happened, and you need to solve the mystery. <clears throat> and it's really good. So if, if you want a game, then you like that kind of thing. <coughs> Sorry. I definitely recommend you checking that out. Just wanted to put that out there. Any other questions? I don't see any more questions, so I'll give you guys five more minutes. Give me whatever... Qu oh, here's one. Question. Mario says, will you play Death Stranding 2 when released? Yes. And let me explain this to you guys now. I am not the strain from years ago. So, I want to tell you this right now. If you start to see, as of right now, if you start to see one of these new games that are going to show up on the channel, I am going to finish it. Through hell and high water, I will be finishing it. So when all these new games that I start this year, they will be done. Oh yes, they will be done. We're not going to be known as the guy who quits halfway because of my ADHD. I'm not going to let that hinder me this year. We are going to be stronger. We're going to be better. We're going to try to get this channel back up to where it used to be so people can rely and trust on this channel and want to come back. We have lost a lot of our people that have followed us throughout the years because I haven't been able to finish specific things because of my ADHD. No more. No freaking more. I don't want to be that kind. I don't want to be known as that channel. How am I doing uh, today? Um, it's getting a little bit better. Uh, stomach still really, really hurts, but, you know, we're making it. Am I going to finish The Witcher 3, Blake? Yes, I, I do want to stream The Witcher 3. It could take a while. It's a long game, obviously. Um, but yes. No worries. If anyone has to cancel a membership, Renee, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. You know, support as long as you can. Support again when you can, whenever you feel like it. None of it is mandatory. So anytime I ask, become a patron, become a member, it's only because you have the means to do so. Never feel like I'm begging you or that I'm demanding you to do it. You know, it's do whatever you can to help the channel. If all you can do is like and comment, then do that. Right? I never feel like you have to be mandatory to do that. That's not what this is about. This is how we make money, and it does help, obviously, to pay the bills and stuff, but never feel like you're obligated to do that. Support whatever way that you feel that you can. Yeah, my stomach still hurts. It's, it's still pretty bad. Um, but they say it's going to be like that for a while because of the complications and whatnot, so I'm just letting it heal and trying to do the best that I can. That's about all I can do right now. Icon has a question again. Would you rather have the original three Splinter Cell games remastered or have them make new additions instead? So we've already had the three original games remastered on PlayStation 3, and those are the walkthroughs that I did way back in the day. So I don't think I would really want them remastered again. I would want them remade. And hell yes, I would... For sure, 100% love them to do remakes for all of the original Splinter Cells. Chaos Siri, Pandora Tomorrow, all of them. Remake them. Don't be afraid to remake them either. I know they still hold up in today's society, but don't be afraid to remake games. It, the games don't have to be exactly like the other games, and just because maybe the remake doesn't end up being good, right? That's okay. The reason I say that is because we still have the original, but... I, we need more stealth games. We need more games like that. You know, come out with a new Splinter Cell. Something like that. I still am waiting on Assassin's Creed 1 to be remade. I want it to be remade. Hey, Cotson. I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm just, I'm doing the best I can. Uh, we're just trucking along here. Question from um, Bronwyn. What star sign are you when's your birthday? So, I'm a Cancer. My birthday is July 17th. And you remember, guys, a few years ago, we used to do 24-hour birthday streams. Or we, I remember when we hit 100,000 subscribers, we did a 24-hour stream. I don't even know if I can search that, if it's still on there. It might be private. 
Because of copyright? I don't know. 24 hour. There we go. So you can still watch some of it. So this was 60. So this was when I hit 200,000 subscribers. I did a 24 hour live stream. Um, the first one only has the seven hours. So obviously I don't have the full 24 hour on there. I think the second one got copyrighted and it's probably not able to be seen because it's got copyrighted and blocked in all countries because we played rock band. I can't remember what else I did. Um, you just like, like to see snake dance, don't you? Snake, what's that? Snake! As I remember people snake. were doing. <laughs> so this was like back in like 2016. Like snake dance. Um, I'm leaving for E3 Saturday, and uh, E3 boy, that feels very, such a long time ago. What was I playing during this? Hour, two hours. So we did some Hitman. Oh, I remember Void. All right. Uh... We were just doing random games. We did looks. We did Dark Souls. Oh God! Watch me die. What else did we do? And we just did different games for 24 hours. Let me know that everything is running. We did Assassin's Creed. Ah, so this hey, I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Assassin's Creed 2. Other big YouTubers. Oh, this is also back when um, I would sing. Good. Thank you for those forever. If people left a donation, I would play, I would sing them a song of their choosing. So essentially someone would donate and they would ask, they, I would say, <coughs> excuse me, which song would you want me to sing? They would pick a song and I would sing it to them. And that's how we did donations way back then. Looks like we did Assassin's Creed 2 for a while. For the donation as well i appreciate it i'm glad you have enjoyed all of the yeah we did nothing but assassin's so there. watching guys so far don't go anywhere i'm gonna be right back we're still here and um uh yeah what uh what is that oh this is hitman 2 silent assassin i could t easily tell that's what that was so yeah so so that was really fun I did a few of those, but they're not really showing up anymore. Because of copyright reasons would be my guess. Okay, so guys, I think that's going to be it. I've, I've, I've had it about enough for sitting down right now. So thank you for the donations today. Thank you for watching. My stomach's really starting to kind of cramp up a lot right now, so I think I need to... <clears throat> I think I need to lay down. Uh, thank you all for just the love and support throughout these years. And hopefully we can make this year be the best year we possibly can. I will continue to bust these videos out. And then once we're done, we'll decide and talk about what the next one is going to be. And then we'll move on from there. And uh, I want to get into the Witcher streams again. I'm just not quite ready to stream on a normal basis yet, guys. I, I hopefully, once some of this pain dies down and I can get back to feeling somewhat normal then then we will and i promise you all of that okay so thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone out there um this community is so amazing you guys rock and uh, i can't wait to see what we can accomplish um this year oh boy my stomach's really starting to might be because it's it's my my gut telling me i'm gonna have to use the restroom again or something i don't know but either way all right i'm getting a little weak here all right, love you all. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you on the next one. Be safe. Peace.